website afterwards? Well, this website's on there. It's the Amazing Strangers Wait, so of Union are Square. You, like, are we talking to you or talking I'm going to interview you right now. Okay. So tell me, uh, so you, how long have you been coming to Union Square? Uh, like, like a year or two. All right, and, and uh, what have you been experiencing here at the park on a regular basis? All of the weird guys come up to us and, like, like yesterday some guy asked us how to go to the bus and he didn't even want to go to the bus, he just wanted to talk to us. And this guy saw us today, he was like yelling at us, telling us how we can't be lesbians and telling us how like, he was just saying the how judgment day is coming and how we're going to hell. Was it, it wasn't that guy who just was screaming at you. No, no was it? it was, yeah. Oh no, not that guy, a different guy. But there was a guy screaming at us in front of like everybody. How about you doing that? Pretty good, did you pass that fight? I filmed the whole thing. You know your boyfriend's coming up here to talk to you right now. Oh, really? Oh, my. <laughs> I am slowly stepping through. And now the thing that got me that just now made me laugh was that you said, when we come here, everyone wants to talk to us. Like all these guys come up. Like it's just probably an endless stream of guys. Coming yeah, yeah. Up. except it's no one who's in our like age. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like you're like 16, old, right? You're like six. Yeah. How old are you? 16 years old or so? Yeah. Okay. And they're all like, how old? Like older guys, like, like in their 30s and 40s. 30s, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they'll. Uh, yeah, I know, ask I know. Us for like our numbers and shit, and I'll be like. Uh, I know. They are annoying, honestly. They really are. <laughs> it's so funny. I see this all the time out here. I've never actually talked to any girls who've ever because it's just it. It's one of those things that and makes the free me go hug crazy. Guy is so creepy. Yeah, yeah. Give him a hug. We just hugged somebody that was a New York Times. Don't call the creep, otherwise I'll throw a cat at you. <laughs> Men who are out here doing that shit, they don't have an excuse. Like, following us. Yeah, I know. Like, I, yeah, just like we're walking, they follow us, and we're just like, no. Would you say that you, on a regular basis, have to deal with the guys following you? Yes. Like daily? Yeah. Hourly? Yeah. Minutely. Every <laughs> 10 minutes? They're just guys. Because like, oh, we, you know, yeah. we're just here to chill, you know, we're just walking around the park, and like, we'll look behind us, and people will, like, People will stop walking when they're in front of us. And, and you say people, us. you mean guys. Yes. You say people, but like you mean guys. And they're like 40-year-old fucking people. I know, I know, I know. Wow. <laughs> and I'm not, I sit here at Union Square, and I've been seeing that for ever. Forever. There was this guy, yeah. he came out to us and gave us a taco. Like, he just handed us a yeah, taco yeah. today. And, and then they... Science is their friend. Oh. It's not my friend. Science. What was that you signed? You told her. I told her keep her legs closed. Why is that? We got too many peepers around here. Yeah, that's the truth. And how do you avoid these guys? How do you do it? Or how do you deal with them? How do you avoid the guys? So most, when they're unattractive, we say we're lesbians. I'm going to tell you though, they know that that's BS. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I like some people, like, even without us telling them, some people actually think that.
interested at all. Oh, what is it? What is it? It's like when you live in the city and there's so many people around, guys start getting more and more desperate because there's so much more competition. Yeah. And guys, and there's also more anonymity when you are in the city. You can do shit and be lost in the crowd. Whereas if you're in a little town, you don't have to deal with it so much because everyone in the town knows you and all that. Like, if you're going to come to me and talk to me, you better know that I'm going to dub you like, right, like spot on. Okay. Absolutely. 